Hey guys, Scott with Heritage Farms Texas. Well, hey, happy Mother's Day. Hope everyone's having a beautiful day. We are at the uh, home offices, corporate offices, Heritage Farms Texas. But hey, what are we working on today? We are making more of these self-wicking tubs. This time we're taking a little different twist and I would like to tell you this was my idea, but it's not. It was a family member and friend, a guy by the name of Mr. Brad Jones who found a twist to this. So, you know, Gardening with Leon came out with these self-wicking tubs and he would put, in essence, six inch drain pipe in here, cover it with landscape fabric, drill a hole five inches, put a water spout, and then off to the races you went because what it gave you was an area at the bottom where water could stand, but you had like a one inch air gap. Well, this right here is something along the same lines, a little bit different, but what this is in essence is we're taking an ugly yellow tub that nobody liked and we're cutting off the bottom six inches, turning it upside down, cutting a hole out. And what we'll do is we'll come in here and put landscape fabric over this so the soil will go all the way down and touch the bottom. So it'll be surrounded by water on all the sides. It'll also have little bitty air pockets so the water can wick up. We actually put a fill pipe. Notice how at the end, bear with me, you can see here we've actually angled the end because if it's flat, water can't run out. If it's like that, water can run out. So we put that in there. A little bit different twist on the uh, traditional uh, self wicking container. But hey, we're learning. And you gotta do something with these ugly yellow ones because there's a difference in the color of the tubs when you feed cattle. I mean, the yellow ones are more inexpensive, lower protein. The red buckets or red tubs are more expensive, have some minerals in it. You also have black ones which have uh, various degrees of protein and minerals and trace vitamins and uh, so, the yellow ones, nobody wants the ugly yellow container. Everybody seems to want the red and black pot. So if we can find a way to reuse the yellow, I think we may be onto something. So uh, anyway, more information to follow. Stay tuned. Okay, so here's what we actually did. So we took the yellow tub, we drilled a hole in there, and then basically took a Dewalt jigsaw Love this saw, by the way, incredible tool. Zipped around here, it was like cutting butter with a knife. And then we came back, we cut some slits in the side to make it a little bit more pliable. And then we also cut a hole here for our drain pipe. But you can see this is the drain pipe. Once again, make sure, see how this is flat? That's the top. Let's see how this is angled. That allows the water to run out. Uh, we then came in here. We drilled a hole five inches off the bottom. So then you put this in there like this. See how that fits in there nice and snug. Your drain or fill tube over there on the opposite side than that. And voila, we are almost off to the races. Now all we gotta do is come in here and drill a bunch of holes in here to allow the air to come up through the bottom and we're making progress. So, hey, I hope you guys like this. Uh, tell us what you think. Leave us a comment, hit the thumbs up. I'll give you a snapshot of our garden here in a few minutes as well. Thanks. Okay, so after you have the yellow tub in the bottom and you put your landscape fabric in there, this is what it should actually look like. So you'll have soil that'll go all the way down to the very bottom of this uh, tub. And what the soil will do is this will be open to actual water all the way around it. So you'll have five inches of water and one inch of air. And this will soak up through here and also through the top where we drilled all those holes. Here's your fill hole. And on this side, there's your drain plug. It's that simple. So uh, that's what it looks like. A little bit different twist on gardening with Leon, but you know what? That should work. So, uh, here is that same container I showed you earlier, actually filled with miracle Grow potting soil. Make sure you use potting soil. Do not use uh, topsoil or anything else because it'll compact. You need something light and airy for the water to wick. So, hey, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up. Talk to you soon. So here's an example of what gardening 
with those self-wicking tubs looks like. So uh, these tomato plants, we've had them, uh, we bought them, they were about a foot tall. That was probably about three weeks ago. Just look how they've absolutely exploded. That miracle Grow potting soil along with a couple of good rains and then uh, we water them once a week, fill up the tubs. Get some cucumbers going, we got some bell peppers, some jalapenos, and onions, a bunch of onions. We uh, emptied half, half of one container today and took two out of this one. So uh, I'll show you up here in just shortly what we got, but uh, man, I'll tell you what, I like it. I'm gonna fill the rest of the gardening up. I'm just gonna keep adding more and more tubs as we get them. Uh, I'm getting so much more production per foot than I did out of the traditional garden method. And me being a part-timer, and I do mean truly part-time, this works so much better. More info to follow. Thanks, guys. So this came out of half of that one tub. Not bad. So when you look at it, that's what? 10. So uh, you can get 20 onions on a one container. I like it. 